Hello, Nick here. Um, I was asked by one of my viewers to do a video on a Drake R8B Bravo um, receiver. I happen to have one. And you might even see it in a couple of my other videos. And I've been messing around for 10 minutes here trying to get this reflection off of the screen of this thing or my t-shirt reflection in the background here i think I'm, the only way i'm going to be able to do it is to try to do it on an angle but anyway this is a drake r8b and it, let me just start off by saying it's a great receiver great all right so without any hesitation let's just get some Four o'clock in the afternoon here, Central Time. So that's what, 1600, 2100 UTC. So it's not a great time at all for uh, shortwave in Dallas. Um, I found this station using one of my other radios. Let's take a quick look. If you look at the big screen up there, you can see I picked 940 because it's a weaker station right next to a stronger station only 10 kilohertz away i usually like to use that to see how radios handle stations that are real close to each other that's usually a good indicator so before we go into the controls let's just try that so we have um mode selection we have bandwidth selection they also have an auto automatic bandwidth which will sense it for you based on what mode you're in um i'm gonna hit the sync this thing has a pretty good sync hold on i'm gonna shut up and just let you listen All right, let's go down to 9.30. That's the stronger station. So you can hear that one just fine. But anybody can get strong stations. The sink stops flashing and that locks it in. All right, just to give you something to compare that to, let's see what it sounds like on this Yesu 1001. What's it called again? FTDX 1001 MP. So they're both on the same antenna, by the way, Wellbrook Outdoors. Digital noise reduction. Obviously, the Drake doesn't have that. 
talk about some of the controls all right so obviously you've got all your mode switches plus sync and the sync works really really well on this radio um, like if we came in and listened to the 49 meter band at night you know that uh, 5800 to 6.2 yeah, where you get a lot of fading because you get a lot of uh, stuff from South America and a couple of them, um, uh, way out east and stuff too, the Middle East. But uh, uh, this 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 does a great job and uh, nice filters too. And then down here we have a volume and an RF RF gain. band squelch on the outside usually I think that's just for FM filter and a tone control. Notch gets rid of those whiny heterodynes, or it can. Um, tuning knob, it's not weighted or anything, but it's smooth. Uh, keypad, and it's a dual function, so if you hit function, you get the other function on there. So let me try and get close so you can see what some of those are. And I have the manual, I think I copied it off the internet and I downloaded it and read it. And this is really, it's really complicated, or at least for me it is. It's not just like, you know, like my Tentec 340 or some of my other receivers. It's like so easy and brainless just to put a memory in and to recall it or to set the clock or something on this thing. You got to call three nuclear physicists and two electronical engineers to set the clock on this thing. I'm not kidding. Okay. But you don't buy a radio like this for the clock. So, uh, direct input uh, keypad, boom, boom, boom. Uh, it, it'll do kilohertz, but you got to hit function first. So I just do megahertz, boom. Uh, this also has. Uh, uh, well, you can see it's got the, the uh, arrows to tune up and down, but uh, the knob does the uh, faster, like the faster you spin it, the faster it will um, uh, tune. And then let's look at these, this menu up here, right underneath it, this, the uh, frequency display. It's got a nice meter, too. So these are, these switches obviously correspond to this, and they're all two, uh, two operations so if you is so let's uh, pick one here uh, the uh, AGC so off slow fast off now if you hit the orange function first you get the bottom one so let me back up just a bit All right. 
And so if you hit function first, the notch is engaged. If you hit function, it lights up up there. So we hit function, turn the notch off. And then it'll go off either on a timer or you can hit the function again to make it go away. And then, so there's a noise blanker, narrow and wide. And then apparently there's something named where you can probably program in a, a name to appear on here. Or maybe, you know, maybe that's where I think that's where you give the memories a name. So you can name your memories. There's a timer, and uh, the thing that's more helpful to me is the extra the step. So, yeah, there it is. So, you can tune, see that? You can tune one kilohertz, or you can tune, what is that, uh, 10 yeah, or 100. because it tunes really fast anyway. And then uh, you can switch between the clock and the frequency control or you can lock the radio. Uh, it has a preamp or an attenuator. So on the first level, it'll switch between normal, which is on now, attenuation, preamp, see the meter jump off, and then attenuation drop, see the meters, watch the meters drop even more. So, you got that. And then there's two antennas on the back. Actually, it looks like there's three. Oh, I think if you have the, um, there's a VHF unit you can get, an auxiliary VHF unit you can attach to this, and then you then you would have the option for a special antenna for that unit. I don't have it. And then you've got over here those fancy VFO equals A. It's got two VFOs, so you can make, you could pick the one you want, A or B, and then if you hit function first, you can make them eat, read the same, A equals B. Uh, that can be a little bit of a pain to work through those things where you have to hit function first, uh, but it's not terrible, and those aren't things you use a lot. The, the only one you might use a lot would be the AGC and the um, preamp and attenuation, and they're on the first level anyway, so you could just hit those. Um, notch usually only comes in if you're messing with sideband. Um, might be helpful sometimes on a shortwave, but you know where it's at. But uh, the radio does a lot of stuff, but it's very sensitive. It has got a great um, sync, like I said. So let's turn this down. Let's go find another signal to listen to. So we'll come back to this and see what this says is going on in the world. Let's see if we can find something. This thing blinks when you change bands, so when you went from like, watch this, I'm on this one up here. So from that one to that one, you, you change the meter band, I think, and that's why it does that thing. Let's see. Look at all these little guys over here. Oh, that's because I turned the wrong volume up.
there's something on 670, so let's check sensitivity here. We'll see if 11670 shows up on this thing. See, it's easy to jump past. So we're getting it right now as good as the Yesu. The iPhone speaker on this phone camera might be faking you guys out, but to my ear, it's about the same. Sync. See if it locks in. Yep, it locked. You can even switch to upper or lower, I believe. Sync upper. Sync lower, louder. Normal sync. Without. That's a really weak station. I mean, look at the meter. That's just to like to show you the sensitivity on this thing. You really can't even hear that. But uh, that shows you most of the functions of this. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else to listen to on this thing. So we're on B. China en 2020 y una fuente confiable de información. Después de que su familia recibiera amenazas de muerte y acoso. Okay. 19, Ucrania reconoció este lunes que cerca de 9.000 soldados ucranianos habían muerto desde el inicio de la invasión rusa hace seis meses en un conflicto sin visos de terminar que ha causado importantes daños humanos y materiales. There's a little horn honking heterodyne in the background. The digital notch filter did not help. El jefe de la diplomacia europea, Joseph Borrell, reconoció que se trata de una guerra de gran escala durante una rueda de prensa en la que anunció que la Unión Europea debatirá crear un gran programa de entrenamiento. Let's see what it sounds like, 9.40, or is that 9.30? No, that's 9.30. So let's see what that sounds like over here. This is, this sounds better than that. Yes, then again, I, I've learned that just because you, you read on that uh, Sherwood, I think it's Sherwood Engineering website where it's like, here's the best receiver. It's got the best dynamic range. It's number one or it's number 
top 10 or whatever it is, it doesn't mean squat to shortwave listening or anything outside of ham band stuff or anything outside of trying to get SSB signals that are that are basically on top of each other. That's the only thing that stuff's good for. And that's not what I do or it's not what we're doing here. Okay, so a good shortwave listening receiver or even a, just a DX hunting receiver is, is going to have, it's not always going to be the best ham receiver is going to be the best one for that picture right here. Okay, this this thing is inc incredible. You you hear it? Como consecuencia de la invasión rusa, según el último balance del alto comisionado de las Naciones Unidas para los Derechos Humanos. Ya las 5.22, un vistazo a noticias destacadas en América Latina y comenzamos por Nicaragua y la que la Secretaría de las Naciones Unidas han expresado su preocupación por el hostigamiento a miembros de la Iglesia Católica en ese país. Desde Nueva York, amplía nuestra corresponsal Carmen María Rodríguez. El allanamiento por la Policía Federal de Nicaragua del lugar del obispo católico del norte de Nicaragua y el arresto de uno de los críticos más prominentes. Al presidente Daniel Ortega suscitó un comunicado de la Secretaría de Naciones Unidas. En la sede de la ONU en Nueva York, Fahrenheit, vocero adjunto del secretario general Antonio Guterres. And I can say that the Secretary General is very concerned. Let's try it one more time on the ASU. Profundamente preocupado por el cierre severo del espacio democrático y cívico en Nicaragua y las acciones recientes contra organizaciones de la sociedad civil que incluye aquellos de la Iglesia Católica. Los informes. Okay, so for as great as the ASU is, a lot of the features that they have, like all these incredible digital filters and tons of filters, they, they lock it all out for the AM mode. All they give you is AM narrow and AM, which is like a 12 hertz kilohertz and a 6 kilohertz, or a 9, a 9 and a 6, yeah, 9 kilohertz and 6 kilohertz. They won't let you use anything lower on AM, right? It's kind of like slap you on the wrist because you only want to use AM, all right? Yeah, screw those guys. This sounds okay now, but the sink helps with the fading, which this really can't do anything about, doesn't have sink. And I don't think this sounds as good as the drink, although this can get any signal that's out there. But again, that's all it's really designed to do is get a signal. Or guys talking on sideband that are literally on top of each other saying, okay, here's my name, goodbye. So, back to the topic at hand. El Pepe. Bueno, Richard, esta va a ser una noche muy importante para ti y para Juan Pendá. Continúa la serie del Metro, pero esta vez en el Yankee Stadium. Tú recordarás que en el Estadio de los Mets, los Mets ganaron los dos partidos. I'm not even on sync. I mean, I'm not even using any of the listening enhancements on this thing. Max Schrester, oigan esto, nueve victorias. I even hit it on 4 kilohertz. Now let's try 6. Yeah, that sounds a little bit weirder than 4. Now we're starting to get a little bit horn honking, so let's see if we can pass band it maybe. That messes with the sink, though. Este partido es sumamente importante para el equipo de Chicago. Ya Kansas City se puede ir a pescar. Esta noche a las 7 y 5, los Bravos de Atlanta contra los Piratas. No hay que decir que lo importante que es el partido para Atlanta. Los Phillies contra Cincinnati. Cincinnati ya prácticamente eliminado, pero Filadelfia está en la comida. ¿Y de qué manera? 
Angelinos contra Tampa Bay, otra vez Angelinos ya casi eliminados, pero Tampa Bay batallando por clasificar a los playoffs, al igual que Minnesota. Ah, que Jim Helpin, Texas, esta noche, los de Chicago, y luego a las 9.40 los Marlins contra los Atléticos, bye bye para ambos equipos, y a las 10 y 10 los cerveceros de Milwaukee. Okay, so those aren't helping with that horn honking sound. You guys might not even be able to hear it, because like I said, it's going through this iPhone speaker or microphone. Muy bien, esta tarde, hace cuestión de 10 minutos, el Manchester United ganó su primer partido de la campaña inglesa, derrotando dos por uno al Liverpool. Cristiano Ronaldo comenzó el partido sentado en el banquillo. Lo metieron en el minuto 86 y no es porque está lesionado, ni mucho menos, sino porque ya el Manchester United prácticamente le ha dicho a Cristiano sabe sí, que no quiere ser parte del equipo. Todo lo que hace es pedir que, que te canjeen, que te vendan, que te manden para aquí, que te manden para allá. ¿Sabe qué? No, no te voy a poner en el terreno de juego. Y el Manchester United terminó ganando el partido 2 por 1 contra el Liverpool. Y Cristiano Ronaldo, tengo que pensar que si Cristiano Ronaldo estaba enfadado con el equipo cuando comenzó el día, ahora tiene que estar 10 veces más enfadado con el equipo. Esto terminó la liga, la tercera jornada de la liga inglesa. El Manchester City ayer empató contra el Newcastle United 3 a 3. It's less in LSB. Still there. Yeah. I can't make that header down go away. I couldn't make it go away in the ASU either, so for that matter. But uh, that's just part of short wave listening, especially certain hours of the day, certain stations coming from certain parts of the world. But anyway, this receiver is awesome. It's, it's a great receiver. I can highly recommend it if you get a good one. You gotta get a good, I mean, obviously anything you don't want, anything that's got problems or not up to spec or not in tune or not aligned or anything like that. But uh, if you get one and the guy says it's good, yeah, you can, you can rest assured it'll be one of the best receivers that you have. All right, any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for hanging out.